what's going on guys? Alex here with TFL Bike. I'm here in Las Vegas at the AIM Expo and there are a ton of electric bikes here. So in this video, we're gonna walk the show floor and I'm gonna take you through what I think are the top five coolest electric bikes here at the show. Let's jump right into it. Now check this out. This is from Electric Motion. It's called the Escape. This is a French company that makes trials bikes and the Escape is kind of their entry level or base model. And it actually has a seat on it. So it's not a full on trials bike with no seat where you stand all the time, um, but it still has that you know skinny frame and everything. So you can ride sitting down on the trail until you get to a really cool obstacle. And then as you can see, you can tackle it with a lot more steeds. What you're looking at there is a 2,620 watt hour battery, 38 mile range on this bike and a top speed of 46.2 five miles an hour. Trials bikes are not top speed bikes. They're meant to do cool tricks and stuff. So I don't think that's a problem at all. This weighs 183 pounds and there's a few different charging options for it. If we come around to this side, you'll be able to see the actual charging port. It's right in here. And that will allow you to charge uh, to a full charge in 4.25 hours with the 15 amp charger. Uh, or if you get the 25 amp quick charger, that cuts down to a three hour charge time. The power button to actually turn the bike on is right there below the seat. And then if we look up top, some pretty basic instrumentation here, but there's some cool stuff going on actually. So as you can see, there's some interesting little bits over here. So first off is this little safety tether. Uh, so just like a jet ski or something, you hook this to yourself. And if you come off of the bike, this will disconnect and shut the bike down so that it doesn't leave you stranded and go running away from you. There's also a few different modes which are controlled with this map button right here and that will change the color of this little uh, light box here to let you know what mode you're in. And then there's also uh, traction control which is switchable using this gray button on the left handlebar. And here's what I think is the most interesting and unique part of this bike right here. It actually has a left lever which you don't see on too many electric bikes but this actually does two different things so there's this little module right here and if you uh, unhook the wire here and flip it around you can change what this lever actually does so one of the modes for this is that it will act as a clutch lever so if you pull it in it will cut power to the engine and then you can modulate power like you would on a traditional gas bike with a clutch by using this right here to cut power. Then if you switch the wire around, you can actually use this as a regen brake. So you pull it, it activates the rear brake, and just like a Tesla or something, it puts um, power back into the battery using the regenerative braking. Now, that right there, the picture they're showing here, this is the race model of the bike, and that actually has a clutch pack. So with that bike, you can actually pull the clutch lever in and rev up the uh, electric motor and you can hear it whining, uh, which is pretty unique. I don't think I've seen that ever on any electric motorcycle before. Besides that, it's a pretty standard trials bike. You've got nice beefy knobby tires, skid plate down below, and just a really compact slim motorcycle. These start at $10,299 and I just think the fact that you have a clutch on some of these bikes and you can rev up the electric motor is so, so cool. All right, now take a look at this. These are the Ubco bikes, and they might look a little familiar to you, and that's because they should. Case actually already made a video on one of these. I believe it was when he was out in Oregon, but I could be wrong on that. And he had a pretty good time on these bikes, so I wanted to revisit them because the build quality on them looks to be pretty amazing seeing them up in person. Now the really cool part about these is they're all wheel drive. So there's a hub motor in the front, 100 watts, and you also have a 100 watt hub motor in the rear. So two wheel drive, you can see right there, two by two, that's pretty cool. Maximum range on these is gonna be about 75 miles and top speed is about 30 miles per hour. Uh, with the battery, they weigh about 155 pounds. Without the battery, that goes down to about 100 pounds. So very very manageable, easy to move around, uh, and a lot lighter than some of the other bikes that are out there on the market. They are available with two different battery sizes. There's a 3.1 kilowatt hour battery pack or a 2.1 kilowatt hour battery pack, and the batteries are swappable. So you can see 
There's really convenient handles up here to grab, little Velcro strap holding it in, and the whole battery just pulls right out of the frame. And the frame's got a really cool utilitarian design to it as well. And there's a ton of mounting points for different accessories all over this bike, so you can really kit it out how you want. This one has some side bags mounted on it. There's one over here with a back rack, and then this one, has a front rack on it as well. There's two different models. So you can see this white one actually has a dash up here and DOT tires. So you can make the street legal, turn signals and everything, but the black one over here, this is more of your work machines. So knobbier tires, more basic headlight unit, no speedometer or anything like that, no turn signals, no brake light. And this is really just for mobbing around on private property or on the trails. I just really love the look of this bike. It looks super utilitarian and it is because of that front hub motor there. It being all wheel drive, this has a lot of benefits over some of the other uh, single wheel powered electric bikes that are out there. Pricing for this is about $7,000 or $7,500 if you add the bigger battery and make it more of a heavy duty bike but there you go the Ubco bikes and they're built in the USA they're built in Oregon pretty cool Now here's a bike called the Urban Runner, and the reason this bike drew me in is because at first I thought this was a Super 73 S1, especially because of where the battery is located right here up on the top frame. It looks like uh, a gas tank on a motorcycle, which I think is one of the coolest design elements of the Super 73 S1 but this is pretty much that bike on a budget. This battery is keyed and removable just like the Super 73 S1, and it's a very similar power rating too. It's about 750 watt hours. I think the Super 73 is about 760 watt hours. This will do a top speed of 25 miles per hour and has a range of 35 to 45 miles per hour. And like I said, I just love the way this battery uh, is shaped to look like a motorcycle tank and they positioned it in the right spot and everything. It does have traditional gears, as you can see right there. You can shift through the gears right here, a little controller and display up here on the left side. And the tire design is pretty cool too. This is definitely not any kind of off-road bike, more of a city bike. And I think the tread pattern looks Pretty cool on these tires. No brake light or anything, just a reflector in the back, but you do have a pretty cool suspension system right here uh, with a little uh, reservoir mounted to it as well. And then you do have adjustable uh, compression on the front forks as well, which you can see right there. Really cool front fender, and although you don't have a tail light, you do have a little headlight so you can see where you're going at night. This bike is retailing for about $1,795 or $1,800, which comes in a few hundred dollars cheaper than the Super 73 S1 and a lot cheaper than the Super 73 RX, but you still get basically the same look. Now next up is a scooter from Dualtron. It's called the Storm and they have a bunch of different models here, uh, but I specifically wanted to show you this one because this is like a scooter on steroids. And I know this is not a, a traditional motorcycle with a seat and everything, but it's still on two wheels and it's one of the more interesting electric products here. So I'm gonna count it, we're, we're talking about it. This Storm scooter looks like it was heavily over-engineered and I love that. And there's a ton of different things to go through, but first let's just talk about the specs a little bit. So this has a 45 amp hour battery, does 135 mile max range, uh, and can charge in about 11 hours or five and a half hours if you hook it up to two fast chargers. 55 mile an hour top speed, even above that they say. And one of the coolest parts is this can climb a grade of 76% or 37 degrees. All right, so let's talk about some of the crazy components that are hooked up to this Dualtron scooter. So first of all, look at that front suspension system, tons of LED lighting all over this bike but one of my favorite parts what really drew me into this was the steering damper they have mounted on here there's also a little bit of suspension in the kickstand gotta love that disc brakes front and rear and check this out you have this control panel up top this actually has turn signals so look at that you can see the left flip it over to the right side. And this bike even has a brake light, which you can see there. Headlights are integrated down here uh, in the floorboard. And you can put a seat on this too. There is a seat kit that is compatible with this bike. And some of the other models, which you can see over here, have swappable batteries. So lots to choose from. This one's got some bigger tires on it. These are 14 inch tires. 
um, but there is an even beefier X2 model that Dualtron makes. It's not here right now, but that thing looks crazy. It has like a full motorcycle suspension on it. These are just crazy over-engineered, gotta love it. Couple other details on this, uh, the motors are pushing about 11,000 watts, which is pretty crazy. Also, there's no axle running through here, so you just pull some of the bolts, it makes serviceability very, very easy. And check this out, fingerprint sensor up here on the handlebars. So uh, if someone doesn't match your fingerprint, they can't turn the lights on, they can't go anywhere, so pretty safe and secure. And I forgot to mention, but these are actually run-flat tires. Gotta love the LED lighting everywhere, and it even has puddle lights down here like a fancy Land Rover. Pricing on the scooter starts at about $5,400, and there is, like I said, that beefier X2 model, so take a look, pretty cool. This is called the Re-Rising by Regian Engineering. They're an Italian-based company. They used to make airplanes, uh, but this is one of the craziest designs I've ever seen on an e-bike. So the whole idea be behind the design here is that everything's kind of circular and follows the design of the wheels of the bike. And what really drew my attention to this was the front suspension. You can see it uses these two shocks up front and just a really, really cool look. Definitely draws the eye big fat tires on here and then the battery is mounted right here underneath the frame so what you're looking at is a 48 volt lithium ion battery pack uh, 10 amp hours and you can also get this with a 14 amp hour battery uh, and with that you're going to get a 45 mile range they say 275 max payload uh, and as you can see right here it is a seven speed as well Looking up at the top here, that's where you're gonna control your gears. You've also got a little screen right there to look at your speed and everything, some extra controls. Uh, but the coolest part about this, besides the design, is that it folds uh, into a really small package. So you can see how that's working right here. Um, the pedals fold in, the handlebar folds down, and then the whole bike actually folds in half. It's pretty cool. Um, these are going to be available pretty soon. This is a very new product. It's called the Re-Rising because it was designed during the lockdown in Italy during the pandemic. So um, that's why it is named the Re-Rising. They kind of had to re-rise the company. But these will be available later on this year and the price is pretty impressive. It's gonna be under $2,000, which is really, really cool and I just love the color scheme and the design of this bike. Definitely going to turn some heads when it's out on the road. So there you have it. Those are the top five electric bikes from the 2022 AIM Expo here in Las Vegas. Let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are. Would any of these be on your shopping list or would you have a completely different electric bike in your mind altogether? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, head over to tfl-studios.com so you don't miss any of the content in the motorcycle world and I'll catch you in the next video.